even though almost 30 different models comprise today's Mercedes-Benz portfolio in the US. The launch of an all-new S-Class is still a defining moment for Germany's most successful premium automaker. Mercedes SUVs, particularly the GLE and GLC families, might today be the brand's volume sellers, but an S-Class is still intended to be nothing less than a statement of engineering excellence and technical expertise that underpins the very credibility of the three-pointed star. The mission statement for the 2021 Mercedes-Benz S-Class is thus crystal clear. 1. Overview. It's incomprehensible not to think about the past six ages of Mercedes S-Class as you approach this seventh cycle. Consider them and pity such piffling innovative world firsts as non-freezing stopping devices, 1978, on the W116, or airbags, 1981's W126. Recall the wonder you encountered the first occasion when you saw a vehicle with two-fold coated windows, 1991's W140 Behemoth. It's enticing to quick advance 40 years and consider what may lie available for future bosses of the universe, since this all-new S-Class, W223, in case you're so disposed, is seemingly the greatest reset since the Sonder class initially showed up in 1972. It's a head spinner, a vehicle that looks further ahead than any time in recent memory, and takes contemporary fixations like network, digitization, zap and independence and gives them the mother and father of all Mercedes turns. Given that this is the organization that has introduced an extremely attractive, if glitchy, UI in its entrance-level vehicle, assumptions are unmistakably high as can be for the vehicle that sits at the sharp finish of the item order. Then again, the way to Howdy Tech Nirvana is assailed on all sides with likely traps, as any individual who's wrestled with the controlling wheel touchpads on an E-Class will affirm. Mercedes has now and again tried the speculation that it is feasible to have an overdose of something that is otherwise good. Corporate pride should keep the hubris under control. Where to start? Maybe with the new South Class Drive Pilot Hard and Programming, which can approach level 4 self-governance so the vehicle can find a space and park itself, expecting the carport is arranged to adapt. Germany is likewise near approving stretches of expressway that will permit the S-Class to run its level 3 autonomous usefulness at speeds up to 37 miles per hour, restrictively robotized, they call it. That implies hands-off driving and the opportunity to browse your messages. Despite the fact that you could contend that this, a definitive in escort-driven vehicles, has been self-ruling for quite a long time, and any email checking will probably be finished by whomever is in the back. Chinese clients, who represented 33% of the 500,000 current S-classes offered, obviously prefer to drive their own vehicles at the end of the week. Soon they'll have the option to sit in the driver's seat and not drive. For all its tech capability, the new S-Class actually depends on interior burning for its intention power. The vehicle we're trying is the S504 Modage, another of those 21st-century German vehicles whose classification bears no likeness to what's under the hood. What we have here is a turbocharged 3.0-liter inline-six, making 429 bhp and 384 forces, whose proficiency and execution is helped by a gentle half-breed which adds 22 bhp and 184 forces. There will likewise be a 2.9-liter, 282 bhp turbodiesel useful for 442 forces and wearing a deceptive 350D identification, AS400D4 modage with 325 bhp and 516 forces, while another gentle crossover 4.0-liter V8 petroleum is waiting to be addressed, and a 580E module half-breed form that adds a 28 kWh battery to convey an asserted reach on electric force of 62 miles is expected to show up later in 2021. The S-Class hasn't generally exhibited a capacity to read the room, that twofold coded mid-90s manifestation showing up into a worldwide downturn with a feigned charmlessness that its replacement traded for a close intangibility similarly as the fun occasions got moving once more. This variant disappoints fairly in the photos however has such a limited class in the substance that you realize its makers will have poured over forensically. There's consistently the new Maybach for those pieces of the world and individuals impenetrable to pandemic and financial conflict. In the UK, 80% of S-Classes sold are the long wheelbase form. The new vehicle has developed by 34mm long to practically 5.3m, and it's 1.92m wide. The more drawn-out wheelbase itself presently gauges 3,216mm. 
breathing room for the driver has expanded by 38 mm, there's 23 mm for back travelers, who additionally get 16 mm more headroom. The grille, not surprisingly, has developed, the body sides and flanks are less complex yet wonderfully surfaced, the head and tail lights more straightforward to take a gander at it yet now containing the most extraordinarily complex enlightenment innovation. Multi-shaft LEDs are standard, with digital light accessible as an alternative. This setup utilizes three enormously amazing LEDs whose light is refracted and coordinated by 1.3 meters miniature mirrors, identical to 2.6 million pixels of light generally. Also, it's clever. If the vehicle distinguishes street works up ahead, it'll project a street sign onto the street ahead as a driver notice. Or on the other hand focus a light onto a walker if need be. It'll resemble close encounters of the third kind. The detail execution on this vehicle is insane, and even hurries to two distinct sorts of entryway handle. The standard ones are like the current and honestly antiquated setup. At that point there are the flush fitting handles that recognize the key dandy and coast into view to welcome you and your hands as you approach. You may feel that this is fairly a difficult situation to go to. Until you attempt them. They're likewise a factor in advancing the vehicle's amazing optimal design. In its slipperiest pretense the S-Class severs the air with a drag co-proficient of simply 0.22. 2. Driving. The first dispatch plan was thwarted by Covid, so Mercedes has dropped a couple of left guide S-Classes into the UK. We're advised the spec is dedicated to what we'll have the option to arrange here, however the detail sheet and alternatives list on this thing are so confounded Crick and Watson most likely made some simpler memories unwinding the mysteries of human DNA than the S-Class item organizers. We're in the S504 Modage, it's 3.0 liter 6 making 429 bhp, helped by its 48V electrical framework and incorporated starter engine, all-wheel drive is standard without precedent for the UK. The S-Class utilizes a redesigned rendition of Mercedes' huge vehicle modular rear architecture, presently called MRA2, stage, which has extra aluminum in its development, more than 50% by weight, to supplement the hot-shaped high tractable steel utilized in the vehicle's security cell and somewhere else. There are unbending expelled aluminum segments for the side individuals in the front, back and sides. Obviously, the new S-Class dynamic and detached security is off the scale, with airbags in places you didn't have any acquaintance with you could fit them and a driving assistance package. That adds the Mercedes Tronic Postfix to an incredibly extensive rundown of tech. This is either the world's most jumpy vehicle or the best secured, yet it positively draws us nearer to the perfect world of mishap-free driving. The S504 Modic weighs 1,990 kg, a considerable figure yet may be short of what you may envision for a particularly forcing vehicle. Obviously, the S-Class sweet spot is at superhighway cruising speed, and on the circle of our trial that included the non-expressway M1 it's pretty much as calm and glorious as you'd anticipate. At lower speeds the motor is somewhat more vocal than is ideal, and despite the fact that it moves quickly the S500 is anything but a pedal to the metal bond stormer, full fat AMGs are coming to satisfy that need. Just like the Mercedes way, there are four distinctive drive modes, Eco, Comfort, Sport and Sport plus, just as an Indiv dual one to change controlling, choke and damping. Obviously, Comfort is the one that suits the vehicle's character best, yet in the event that you do research the restrictions of the dealing with envelope, you'll discover grasp and balance to extra, more prominent responsiveness from the essential controls, and a harder however a long way from thuggish edge to the vehicle's general character. The 9-speed program does its thing as imperiously as could be expected, despite the fact that in the event that you do flick into sport mode and take control by means of the guiding wheel paddles you rapidly forget about which stuff you're in, and the presentation that advises you is a digit little. There are a couple of different things to note. Our vehicle was fitted with the dynamic back hum, a choice Mercedes UK is as yet considering. Mercedes offers two controlling points on the back steer, 4.5 DEG or 10 DEG, the previous being sufficient to have an emotional effect to the long wheelbase S-Class usability at low paces. Contemplate no more, it's an easy decision and numerous lodging valets will be everlastingly thankful. This is additionally a brilliantly peaceful vehicle, interestingly, Mercedes is utilizing an acoustic froth in key pieces of the body, which is fitted right off the bat underway and afterward extends in the broiler during cathodic plunge painting. 
The territory around the sea columns, i.e., alongside the back inhabitants' head, is especially very much stifled. At last, the ride on the standard air suspension isn't exactly just about as unbeatably smooth as you would expect, at any rate not on the UK's famously amazing surfaces e-dynamic body control is an alternative the UK will not get. Nor are the brakes very also balanced as we'd like. Be that as it may, these are minor protests, and the truth of the matter is you need to look through long and elusive shortcomings. 3. Within, a lot of us have squabbled over what comprises the best vehicle on the planet, a discussion that consistently appeared to be somewhat reductive and senseless. However, we can now completely affirm the best vehicle inside, such are the lengths Mercedes has gone to with the new S-Class. No one has at any point figured out how to mix high innovation with conventional, however remixed, for need of a superior word, thoughts of extravagance so convincingly. Here's the key, the S-Class Second Age UI is not difficult to utilize. Fearsomely perplexing to get your head around, effortlessness itself in real life. 4. Claiming. This part is probably not going to keep planned S-Class proprietors for a really long time. For sure, Mercedes claims that 80% of purchasers in Western Europe are rehash clients, 70% in the US, and nothing cost-related will stop them jumping aboard. Costs start at £78,705 for the standard wheelbase S350D and AMG line trim, the first of five levels coming full circle in the premium plus executive cycle. Costs for the S504 Modic long wheelbase as tried here range from £100,035 to £110,325, whose 3.0-liter petroleum motor conveys a guaranteed consolidated fuel utilization of 31.7 to 32.5 mpg, and CO2 outflows of 199 to 202 grams per kilometer. The vehicle is future sealed, with more than 50 electronic segments fit for accepting over-the-air refreshes, including the MBUX, driver show, and driving help frameworks. Mercedes likewise makes some strong cases about the new S-Class utilization of economical materials, however with the unadulterated electric EQS standing ready this is in all probability the last hurrah for inner ignition in this age of S. Is it true that you are stressed over non-renewable energy sources and the exhaustion of the world's oil? Let's go, in case you're in one of these, you own the oil. What's more, likely an underground jolt opening in New Zealand for when it does at last run out. 5. Decision. High innovation and lavish extravagance converge in staggering style to convey a vehicle that lights the route forward we said toward the starting that this 7th era S-Class may address the greatest jump forward since the model showed up right around 50 years prior. It's an astoundingly complete vehicle. One that figures out how to evoke a really contemporary vision for auto extravagance without overdosing on innovation. The second age Mercedes UI is as simple to work as it is delightfully planned and delivered, everything about oversaw. Be that as it may, this is likewise still a vehicle, and whether you're in the driver's seat or sitting behind the individual doing the driving, the experience is profoundly fulfilling.